protein hormone. It is what you think six inches is. Welcome to the Real New Zealand Adventures Life in New Zealand daily vlog. Good morning, it is the 18th of October. Just heading out of the door very soon, hanging out the Waikato for a day trip today. Just getting all the computer and stuff, taking it with me just in case. Like I said, it's only a day trip, but if I don't take the computer, it'll turn into an overnight trip. So I better get organized just in case. Well, it's just after seven. I'm pretty much leaving on time, which is awesome. And guess what? It's raining again. Surprise, surprise. Rightio, fueled up, leaving Stratford. Two hours should be in Pew Pew. Today is going to be a driving day. Got to be in Pew Pew at 10 o'clock. Pick up a client, take them through to Hamilton for an appointment. Back to Pew Pew, back to Taranaki. to collect some willow leaves because I wanted to try something. If you cut these willow shoots up and put them in a crock pot and let them simmer all day until they make a, like a brown colored tea, this will then be a rooting hormone. So I wanted to try that out with all my little plants in the tunnel house to see if it makes the roots grow better. Free and it's worth a try anyway I thought. Step two, get out your crock pot. Step three, cut said willow shoots into millions of tiny little pieces. You want the tips of the willow with the new growth and this will make the most potent rooting hormone. Step four, add water. Step five, add more water. Step six, fill the jug up again so you can make another cup of coffee. And then on goes the lid and I've got it set to a, a medium temperature and we'll just let it go all day like that until it turns into a tea colour. Bills for all to share You called your name You called it out In vain Everything You have loved Is kept inside your heart It weighs you down like an anchor The things that you have done Give me more, give me more, give me more Well, that was a long trip, but I made it, and I'm happy because it has stopped raining. Even better, I actually seen some blue sky on the way up, which is very rare this last few days. So fingers crossed the weather stays good like this. We'll have a good day. I'm going to head around now, pick our client up. Fingers crossed they're ready to go, and we can get them through to Hamilton. This is amazing, seeing blue sky like this and sunshine, considering the weather we left in Taranaki. Way more than what I 
expected. Look at these! We have five boxes of no shoe low carb bars. Now, disclaimer, I did complain about the cherry and coconut bars because we were getting a lot of them, because we buy them a lot, we were getting a lot of them with the chocolate missing off the backs of them. So I did a little complain about it and the lovely lady said she's going to get to the root of the problem and send us some samples. So she did. She did very well. So I've got one, two cherry ones, a coconut bliss flavour, ooh, choc mint, which I haven't seen in our supermarkets here, and ooh, double chop brownie, which I also haven't seen in our supermarkets here. So these are all low carb bars for our keto diet. What I like about the no shoe bars is that they don't contain any maltitol, which is a no no when you're on the keto diet. Our supermarket in Stratford only stocks the cherry coconut, which is our favourite, coconut bliss, and another one which is like sort of like a Snickers bar. So I'm very excited to try the Choc Mint and Double Chocolate Brownie. These flavours came over from Australia and I haven't seen any of these in any other supermarket so it'd be good to try. I better wait until Ben gets home before I do a taste test. Stay tuned. Well, I made it to Hamilton. Everything went well on the way up here. Got here perfectly on time, which is great. Actually, 15 minutes early. Well, while I was looking online last night to find a windsock for this camera, I see that Heathcote's Appliances has them in stock in Hamilton. Well, I'm just parked across the road from Heathcote, so I'll wander over and have a look, see if they've got some. Windsock for a Joby microphone if you have them. Well, Heathcoach was a fail. They just looked on their computer. They've got none in the country anywhere of any size or stock. Well, I'm still waiting. It's half past one. I am getting hungry now, though. Can't really go anywhere, because if I leave the car park, I've got to re-register the car for parking, which is a real pain. Shouldn't be too far away though. We'll just keep waiting for a bit longer. Everything you have loved is kept inside your heart. Weighs you down like an anchor. Well, it's half past three. We've made it out of Hamilton. Our client is going in pack and save to get a few groceries. I'm finally gonna have some lunch. I am getting very peckish. Well, I'm back in Pew Pew. Transfers are done. Sitting on 24 degrees. Still amazing weather up here. Now I've just got a two and a half hour drive home again. Perfect way to spend the afternoon driving down in the brilliant sunshine. Well, quick toilet stop at the farm and then back on the road again. There's a feeling building inside of me. I can't hide it. I need to let it be free. I don't know how you're gonna take to it. But if you understand. Just a little bit
Well, I'm making pretty good time on the way home. This is my favourite time of day to travel at this time of year, especially when the weather's good. You get amazing sunsets all along the coast here. There's hardly any traffic on the road. The roadworks are finished for the day, so no stop go signs. So you just cruise on through with no interruptions. There's a feeling building inside of me I can't hide it, I'm gonna set it free Well I'm back and I hear there is new chocolate bars to go with my coffee This is gonna be amazing Ta-da! Ooh, choc mint! Can't even get these I don't think in New Zealand, I've never seen them anywhere No, and double Chuck brownie. So this is my box, and that's your box, is it? Oh, that's my favourite flavour. <laughs> <laughs> right, taste test time. Been waiting all day. We'll go Harvey's on each. Oh, each bar, yeah. or each box. <laughs> each bar, because they are four grams of carbs per bar. Okay. So they are reasonably small. <laughs> Six inches. <laughs> That is what you think six inches is. That's oh. right. Oh, it smells amazing. This one's minty. It smells like toothpaste. It's real minty. Whoa, look how sticky that is. Oh, that's good. I broke that exactly in half. <laughs> You're going to have the smaller bit there. Right, mint one first. Yep. Quite dry. Mmm. That's good though. Mmm. Right. Chocolate brownie. Chocolate that is brownie. scary, isn't it? That? Yeah. No, I like the texture of this one better. So do I. Mm. That one tastes too much like a protein bar. Yeah. It's real grainy, eh? Mm -hmm. That one's really good. That is really good. Yum. Good on you, Nashu. Very good. Right, that one, the chocolate brownie needs to come to the supermarket in town. Mmm. That one with our coconut. New Zealanders, have you seen this in New Zealand anywhere? Let me know. Right, so conclusion. That's amazing. The double chocolate brownie mm. is better than the chocolate, but the chocolate's still good. Mm. If you like that chocolate flavour, which I do. <laughs>